Ah, it's that time again for another Bee Man Diecast Finds. We're at Target in Orchard Park today. My goodness, we have Jack Gordon's number 24 card. We have nine wickets down as Junior. Sorry. Yeah, it's been a minute, but we're finally back three and a half years later for Bee Man Diecast Finds at Target in. Orlando, somewhere in Lower Orlando. I don't know. So we do have some of the winner circle cars. Uh, Austin Centric Daytona win. Pretty good, but ho oh, oh, the Pièce de Résistance Zane Smith Daytona win. That one's definitely getting picked up. I'll do also a video after this on the diecast I bought. There's Collars and Faveline. I already have it though. Um, I'm also using the Ray-Bans as my glasses, as my camera, because people were looking at me weirdly. So there's also the Blaney, uh, 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 Blaney Advanced Auto Parts. Eric Jones, U.S. Air Force, Chase Elliott, Kelly Blue Book. Uh, there's an Austin Cindric Freightliner, a Cascadia car. Again, it looked so much better on the non-PTC mold. All these cars up are PTC, all are PTC mold cars. Harrison Burton, uh, Dex Imaging, got the Ty Dillon, Gain, and the, what is that? Uh, Ryan Priest, not Ryan Priest, Cole Custer, uh, Haas, or back. There wasn't much else there. Um, I don't think they still sell haulers at Target. Uh, I was going to maybe pick one of those up if I could, but I couldn't find it. But, um, yeah, definitely not a bad haul for the first time. We got some Oreo Cakesters as well. Um, they also messed up the card with the Zane Smith for some reason. I don't know how they did that, but, yep. And there's also tape on the box, which I'll point out later. But uh, let, let me show you what I got. Just for clarification, this is my third time filming this because people are coming in here and having accidents and everything, and there's a bunch of gangsters, and I'm scared. I don't like America. Anyways. Uh, we're gonna start off with the winner's circle cars, and then, yeah, I don't know how OBP comes in here, honestly. I think he goes home and does it. There's tape right there. Hmm. I now can't close their boxes now, apparently. Anyway, so, Austin Cindric's Daytona win. Uh, 500, Daytona 500 win, yep, okay, cool. Um, I don't have a Cindric Next Gen car, so I got this one. Um, I also got this Winter Circle Wave, and we like Winter Circle cars, and I really like the bases they actually give us. I don't think it's worth three bucks more. Hey, my mother just texted me. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth three dollars extra for a base and maybe a card that we get half the time. Are these cars, these stickers, oh, they're stickers now. Ooh, PTC mold cars, yeah. We have two Winter Circle Waves and the rest are PTCs and they all have stickers. I don't like the stickers. Get the Magnet or a Trading Card or the Pit Box. I, magnet, that's Magnet, never mind. I don't like the stickers. They're kind of just useless. They're, yeah, they are useless actually. Anyways, probably the biggest find of the day, the most successful one. They taped it again as well. I think they always tape the bottoms now. Um, yeah, anyways. Um, Zane Smith, Daytona 5, not Daytona 500 win, Daytona 250 win. Yeah. I don't think we got this truck in gold version, and I don't know if we're getting a championship one of him, because I haven't seen it out yet, and Logano's championship's out, so, Zane Smith, guys. So, that's all the Winter Circle cars, and then the rest of PTC mold cars. I think most of these are Wave 6 from 2022, because we only have four waves this year. Uh, but anyways, Chase Elliott, uh, Kelly Blue Book, again, I don't have a Chase Elliott next-gen car, uh, and this is the only one we had, so grab that one. Um, it doesn't look the worst. The front end has seen definitely better days. Other than that, though, it's, oh, the front end's also a bit messed up again. The front end's wonky. I'm reviewing all these cars. Don't worry, you'll see it. You will all see it gladly. Um, all right. Cool cuss. Not cool cuss. Yeah, it is cool custer. It is um Hoster right? This is a Wave Ten car actually. So, yeah, this is probably the last cool custer. 41 car we're gonna get it's on PTC mold car. I do have his test wave car, uh, but I wanted an actual sponsored car because at least this is Haas, not Stuart Haas Racing. So I grabbed this one as well. Um, Ryan Blaine, Advanced Auto Parts. I just like the Advanced Auto Parts car. Um, I just realized they messed up the front end. They didn't even put like, the checkered flag on the front end, on the front hood. Again. PTC mold car. Yay. You're gonna get a review on that one. Um, you know what though? The Ford's PTC car. Or PTC mold mold. Uh it's not bad. You know what? It's 
definitely not the worst it could possibly be. And I've seen much worse, like the Chase Elliott. So that's a cool custer, actually. Get down here, show a little. Um, yeah, you know what? They did a good job with the Ford. I heard that that the Ford's good, the Toyotas are terrible, and the Chevys are all right. I don't think I have any Toyotas though, so I think we're fine on that part. Tidal and Gain. Gain's not back in 2023, but I want another 42 car. I think I could have bought this in gold. Oh, no, they didn't have this on gold, did they? This is an exclusive, actually, so good thing I had to get this. Um, what was the 42 car I saw in Michigan? Oh, uh, was it Black Rock and Coffee Company? I think that's what it was. Anyways, yeah, this front end's a bit... Whenever I see these front ends now, I think about the 187 cars. 187, like, low scales that we'd had for two years, and Lionel got rid of because they knew they couldn't make them right. Those, like, just mini PTC mold cars. Yeah, the front ends of these Chevys are screwed up, though. Anyways, that was cool. Uh, Austin Cindric Freightliner E Cascadia car. I think I only got this, though, because it looks so good on in person. You know, and PTC, this one, it's, it's not the worst, actually. You know what? They did a pretty good job with this one. I'll give them that. Again, the Ford molds, they're good. I'm happy with how they did the Ford molds. Um, and I'm not seeing too many issues with the decals and stuff. Need a little air bubble there, but that's fine. I think we're fine on that one. Um, I couldn't really see the, how blurry the decals were, though, because Target doesn't clean their cars well, so it's, like, really blurry inside. Not, like, blurry, but, like, it's... The glare is not helping, and the actual plastic is, like, dirty almost. Like, with just, like, dust and stuff. Nothing bad. Um, yeah. Also, I don't know if no one noticed this, but they use the new, um, kind of cardboard thing for the die cast on the back. These back ends, I don't think it used to be this slick. Um, I have two more cars. So, Eric Jones, U.S. Air Force. Again, I don't have a Jones next-gen car. I haven't had a 43 car since Bubba, I don't think. So... Yeah, I needed a new one. Uh, this one again, the only problem I have with the Chevy's, and again, I'll say this again during the review, is that you can see exactly where the front bumper decal is. That's the only problem with this mold, is that they don't put it down right. The factory doesn't do it right. They, they do like, it's like they do the front end last. And so I think they just do the front end first. Do the hood last. Um, this front end isn't the worst, actually. It's just, it's just like pushed up, I feel like, a lot. So I don't know why, but it is. Anyways, and the last car, I think, yes, I spent 60 bucks here. The Tootsies. Yay, Tootsies. This is the car that Suarez wrecked himself in when he ran into Briscoe when Chesney went up Gateway. I think it is. Anyways, I got more reviews to do, which is fun, actually, which means instead of doing school, I can do this. I can be happy about it. I'm getting really close to the camera here. So, anyways, hope the everything looked good on the camera. Hopefully, um, especially with the glasses. I don't know how they ever turn out because I can't see it. I can see it from my eyes. But I don't know how the camera is always. Hopefully, it's all good though. Hope you guys have a good day. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So you never miss another video in these reviews. Um, I'm trying to think. Do I have another haul video at the film soon? I don't think so. Let's get the new indie cars. I haven't gone to the 2023 indie cars yet. Gotta get those. I need to review the first indie, other indie cars first though. So. Uh, it was a great day. I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.